all birds find shelter during a rain but the eagle avoids rain by flying above the clouds problems are common but attitude makes the difference it gives me immense pleasure to introduce our board of director respected dr sonia lal gupta ma she is highly qualified board certified neurologist after completing her mbbs from government medical college patiala she pursued neurology at new york medical college she graduated in 2011 become one of the youngest neurologists in the world at the age of 27 she specialized in headache medicines at the university of south florida in tampa where she was awarded the fellow of the year award and honor bestowed on only two previous fellows in the past 20 years of the fellowship she further specialized in strokes and completed her fellowship in vascular neurology from new york medical college she has worked as an assistant professor of neurology at loyal at lila university in chicago where she played a key role in training headache medicines follows she has involved in clinical research and has presented at various international conferences and co-authored papers in international health journals she is board certified in four american brands including neurology vascular neurology neurosensology and headache medicines she was awarded the neurologist of the year award at the india health and wellness summit held in new delhi in december 2014 for her achievement and as an upcoming young achiever in the field of neurology and also awarded the financial express visionary leadership award at the second edition of the financial express digital health conclave in january 2023 i am very much delighted to invite most inspirational personality respected dr sonia lal gupta ma ma please come and grace the stage good morning everyone respected chief guest dr g n singh our guest of honor dr kamli walia our guest of honor dr jay prakash dr smani dignitaries dr shri arya gupta and members of the ipa delegates my metro faculty and staff and my dear students i would like to extend a warm welcome to you all for the first international amr conference on antimicrobial resistance and gut microbiome rationalizing prescription in clinical practice You know when Dr. Kanaglata came to me, our Director of Education came to me to discuss about this conference and the topic. I actually got very excited, and there were two reasons on why I got very excited. The first reason was that this is such an important topic to understand and bring awareness on, especially with the rampant use of antimicrobial drugs. antimicrobial resistance or amr this is becoming a growing public health threat that occurs when bacteria viruses fungi or parasites develop resistance to the drugs that are actually meant to kill them this happens due to the overuse and misuse of the antimicrobial drugs which causes the organisms to mutate and become resistant AMR makes it difficult to treat infections and this increases the risk of disease spread morbidity and mortality in fact it is projected that there will be more deaths from AMR than cancer by 2050 what we don't realize many a times is that amr also leads to increased healthcare costs reduced productivity and worst of all limited treatment options to save lives and as a clinician i can say that is one of the most frustrating and helpless situations to be in 
when you are not able to help your patients due to conditions like AMR. So preventing and controlling AMR requires a concerted effort from healthcare providers, policy makers, researchers and even the general public to promote responsible antimicrobial use, improve infection prevention and control, and develop new antibiotics and alternative treatments. The second reason I, that I got very excited was that I just love academics. You know, there is no, no, no replacement for good quality education. And we at Metro Group always believe in the highest level of excellence, whether it's clinical care or in academics. At Metro College of Health Sciences and Research, we always strive to get the best faculty and team on board and always ensure a special focus on academics and research. Even at Metro Group of Hospitals, under the chairmanship of Padma Vibhushan, Dr. Prashottam Lal and Mrs. Lal, a mother of Metro, we have DNB programs in multiple specialties. And under the leadership and guidance of Dr. Samir Gupta, our director, we have started our MRCP program in internal medicine in collaboration with the UK and are also developing a clinical registry of its kind in cardiac sciences to aid research in the same subject. And that is why I'm so happy today that we at Metro College of Health Sciences and Research are getting an opportunity to participate in such a wonderful conference. I would really like to thank Sri Are Gupta ji and the IPA for collaborating with us for this conference and a very special mention to Dr. Puneet Gupta who has been with us every step of the way guiding us to organize this event. I would also like to thank our team from Metro College, especially Dr. Kanak Lata, our Director of Education, Dr. Praveen Gaur, our Principal of Metro College of Pharmacy, Dr. Rosalind Mishra, Professor in HOD, Mr. Jay Shankar, all our faculty, staff and dear students who have worked very, very hard to organize this conference. I thank our patrons and our speakers for taking out time from your busy schedule to be with us here today. We are very excited and look forward to a very successful event and bring forth and hope to bring forth many such events in the near future. Thank you so much everyone.